Hello ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. Then I do be here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clone a website. So I want to clone this particular VTU website. We'll clone the front end of this website. So we're going to clone this website. So it's going to have everything you are seeing on the menu bar here. Everything here. We'll clone everything. So I'll show you you can do everything in less than a few minutes. You are good to go. Now we're going to move this site from this place here. This is our this is this, 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 this website. I want to move it to your own website. So this is our own website. It is plain. So I'll show you how you can do that. So to do that now, it's very simple. Just come to your browser and download this software. So you are going to use a very simple software known as HTT Track. Okay. I call it HT. Uh, let's put HT Track. So this is it. All you have to do is to click come here on this download and click on download. So when you click on download, it will take you to the download page. So you can see HTT Track website copier. So just come here. You can see here. This, this was recommended for you. So just come and click on this and download the application. So when you download the application, there will be some prompts to just tell you, follow, tell you to follow. You follow it and you are good to go. So this is the software here. It is free, guys. It's free and you can do it. So now you just come here to get started. All you have to do is come to the website that you want to copy. So I want to copy this website. I want to clone this website. I just copy the URL of this website and come to our software here. Click on next. Then give this website a name. So let me just call it uh, VTU Paddy. Uh, Paddy. VTU Paddy site. So that's where I'm going to put. So that's where the folder wants it to appear. Then I'm going to come here and click on next. Then here just come to V the um, URL that you copied. Then you are going to click on next. Then you come here and enable this first one. Disconnect when finished. Then click on finish. So immediately you click on finish, this software is going to go through the, the website that you want to clone and give you the HTML, give you the CSS and give you the JavaScript. In fact, it will give you everything on that website apart from the back end. So if you have intention of creating the back end, getting the back end, you cannot use this uh, method to get the back end but you get everything in the front end so if you have to clone a school website you can clone a blog a blog you can clone anything but the only thing you don't have access to is the back end but you have access to everything in the front end like this particular website here now we have access to everything in this front end let's say for example you have a video script or you have you, are, you want to start a website and you have seen the website that you like just clone the website just copy everything in the website then you have to change things so that it can become your own so you don't go against um you, you don't find to copyright stuff like that so you just copy change the name you know change the name change things that, that i did not want like this csc range number is not my own so i'll change it you know change the name of everything and leave the other the way they are and this is super super cool and super super easy so you can do this and you can see me i've done this on that few leak so you just come here this goes to do everything now if the website um, the website is large as in it has so many content inside it will take a longer time but if the website is very little it will take a very shorter time and with this you are going to get a website um get the website you have cloned you get them and you are going to um upload that into your own c panel so i want to show you how you can do everything so i'm just waiting for this to just finish cloning everything and it will give me my uh it will give me the link and give me the all the file and everything so i also have to upload it so don't forget that i want to upload it on this particular domain here which is plain nothing on this domain but we want to turn this domain to this website just uh, getting the html the java code the css getting everything um of, of course you have the you have access to the uh, to the back end but you now have access to the back end itself what i mean is that for example if i click on this login you you have access to the login um to the login page like this login page but you are not going to have access to the cPanel itself. So if I'm interested in learning how you can create the VTU website, I have a video on how I created the VTU website. I'll put the link below so you can just check it out and you get a VTU site ready. So this is a VTU site. This is live. VTU.com, techconcept.com is a live one. So you can actually try it out and get your own. Uh, you can get your own data and you know, stuff like that from it. So let's check. So these are successfully finished. So you just click on finish here. Now to locate where your file is, you come to your come to your, your file explorer so you just come to your file explorer your local disk then when you click on local disk they are going to um open your let me see this opening okay it's working okay it's quite slow here okay now then you come to the name that you gave your entity your entity tracker the first time that you open so i gave my own my web my website so you click on open then you are going to locate the particular folder that it, that it has given to you because i've used this SST tracker to um clone so many websites so you're going to see so many websites i've cloned so and the one i want to clone the one, the one i just um created currently now is vtu per this site so i'm just going to click on open so i'm going to open it and when you open it you will see that with just a single click 
the website has already been copied for you. So I can go to the HTML directly now. This is the index. So when I click on this index, you see what's going to happen in my Chrome browser. It's going to be opened for me, but it's only me that can actually access it when it opens. But I want other people to access it. That's why I need to go to my C panel and upload to my C panel. So currently, this is it here. I can only be with the one to access it for now. How can you make it to move to your C panel here so that people can come to your um, your HTML, your URL, and get access to it? So all you have to do is to come here, copy everything the way it's easier. Then, okay, don't copy everything. Just come here. Do you see the name here? Vtu contact um, dot I'm, I'm going to click on open. Then copy everything under this file. So you, you copy everything under the file that your website name is. Then copy everything. Then select add to archive. So when you click add to archive, then you select this archive for my zip file. So I'm just going to change um, the name of this from this to my own website name. So I'm using Vtu Pagi. Okay, all right. So, video party is not actually live. So, if you want to use the name, you can actually use the name. I think it's a cool name. Video party dot com. dot com. The is a cool name. But if you want to use it, you pay. Oh, I am just joking. So now, is this particular video party that you are going to upload? So now, it's in zip file. Is the way you are going to upload your zip panel. So let me come to my zip panel. You can see here it's empty. So I'm going to my zip panel. I'm in my zip panel. Um, okay. I'm going to my C panel. So when I get to my C panel, I'm just going to locate file manager. Just locate my file manager, open my file manager, and locate that folder, the folder I want it to be. So if you just get only a domain, you can put your own in the public HTML. But this is the folder I want to put it onto. This is HTTP uh, VTU PAD. And you can see the folder is empty. So to upload it here, I just click on this upload. Then you, you drag this zip file, this VTU PAD that you have turned to zip. Just drag it, move it to your C to your C panel, and just you know paste it like that. So this is going to just upload there. So when that's uploads, this blue will become green. That is show you that it's already uploaded. Then you click on back. So when you click on back, all you have to do is very simple. Click on this zip file I've uploaded. Then you click on extract. I click and click on extract. Then click on extract file. So so this is it. You can see the HTML, the JavaScript. You can see this is HTML. These are these are images. Uh, these are CSS, you know, something like that. Everything has been uploaded for you. So all you have to do is just come here and click on, um, just click on close. So you're going to close it. So when you click on close, it's going to close and you are going to have access to, um, to this. It. Then the next thing you are going to do is to, okay, let's come to, this is our website here. And when you refresh the site, so I'm just going to refresh the website and you're going to see that this particular um, website here has been cloned into our own website. You can say, boom, this has been done for us. It's just a single click and you're good to go. So now, let me show you how you can edit all this thing, you know, the name and that and that. So you just come here, for locate. The home page here is always in the index.html. So you, I'm, I'm going to right click on this and click on edit. So when we edit the index.html, then click on edit again. You can see, I want to first change this home page. Uh, okay, so this is it. I want to change this particular home page here. Change it. So you come to your index and locate anywhere you are seeing VTU contact. Just change it. Anywhere you are seeing that particular website name, you just change it. So I'm going to come here. Now, this phone number, you change to your home phone number. Uh, okay, just go. It's very simple, guys. All you have to do is just to scroll down and locate where um, everything is. So you can also use a button here. So guys, just change it. So I'm going to change this crown tech here. You know, so this is the crown tech here. This particular thing you are seeing, welcome to crown tech. So this is it. Okay, this is the title. So change the title too. Change the title to the name of your own website. So the name of the website I'm using is VTU Party. So I'm calling it VTU Party. So I'm going to change and um, copy this VTU Party because I want to use it in a lot of places. Any place I see the crown tech, I'm going to change to V2 Paddy. So just uh, okay, you can just copy it, or you don't copy, you can be typing it. Then click on copy. So anywhere, so yeah, this crown tech concept, just change it to your own name. I believe you get the concept, just click on anywhere you see um that here, you change it. So anyway, I'm seeing for this video. So yeah, we have it here under the title, we have it here as a title. So I'm going to change it to uh, okay, paste it there. Then I'm going to scroll, scroll down, scroll down. Um, yeah, we have all this has been done for us. So let's see here. You can see crown tech here. I'm just see, yeah, it's welcome to this thing you are seeing here. Welcome to so this is it here. I'm going to change it. So if I change it, you see what's going to happen at the front end. I'm going to click on paste, then click on save. So when you change it, you click on save. Then as you come here, you can see now it's crown tech party. Let me refresh. Uh, it's um, crown tech concept. Let me change, refresh it. You see, it's going to change to the name of my website. All right. So I'm just going to refresh that. 
it's, get, it's getting refreshed now. Just see the magic. So, because anything you change in the back end in your script, just have to basically edit the script. Anything you change on the script is going to reflect on the front end. So, you can just um, change, edit anything as much as you want, and it's going to reflect. So, this is going to reflect. I go to see it now. So, here it is. It has changed. VTU. But you can see there. So just basically change anything you want to change. So you come to the back end here, front end where you see contact, change it, change it to your own. You can change anything you want to change, you know. And this is how you can you can change the text if you want to change the text too. So guys, I hope you have gotten value in this video on how you can clone a website. Don't forget that this can only clone the front end as it's going to get access to the HTML, get access to CSS and the JavaScript. But it's not going to get access to the SQL. So, guys, if you are watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video. I look forward to seeing the next video uh, as we'll be creating more exciting videos. So, thank you so much, and I love you. Thank you.